Hi everyone, I'm Davika Sims and I want to welcome you to my channel. This is the very first recording I've ever done and I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty nervous about it. I've been watching some videos for the longest and I've always wanted to start my own channel, but I've always given myself a bunch of excuses. I hate how my voice sounds, I'm not skilled in making videos, no one will watch my videos, you name it. But if 2020 has taught me anything, it's that there's no time like the present to do what you want. So even if my video isn't as smooth as other people, if I make a ton of videos and no one watches, I'll keep doing it as long as I enjoy it. So when I play on my own, my main focus is usually on family gameplay. Generations is one of my favorites because of that very reason. Recently, I started getting into challenges and I'm currently playing the Zodiac Legacy Challenge off screen. And I realized that playing challenges gets me to experience parts of the games I never really paid attention to before. So I'm hoping to try out a bunch of challenges on this channel, and I hope you enjoy this journey with me. When deciding to choose which challenge to start with, I thought, why not go with the one that seems to drive people the most insane? That's right, we're starting off with the 100 baby challenge. I consider myself a very organized person, and I've already made myself a whole chart for this, so let's see how long it takes for me to lose my mind and throw the chart away. Most of you have probably seen enough 100 Baby Challenge videos to know the rules, but I'll quickly go over the ones that I'm definitely sticking to. The goal of the challenge is to have 100 babies by different men. Aging has to be on and set to normal span. No mods that give advantages. I've taken my Kawaii Better School mods out. No prolonging life, but you can use any other rewards. We can't age objects, I mean babies, until we get a notification. Toddlers can't be aged until they get level 3 on all skills. Children and teens can be aged when they get an A in school. We can move our kids out once they are young adults. I think I'm going to use my Life Decider mod by Kawaii Stacy so that they can leave with a job and some funds. Once the matriarch can't have kids, the youngest daughter takes over. The matriarch can't have a job that makes her leave the home. She can't use the same man more than once, and we must randomize traits. I think I'm also going to use the trait randomizer that I have by Kawaii Stacy to help with that one. Now, let me introduce you to our matriarch. Her name is Tony Brooks. I don't consider myself a cast queen like some of the other people's videos who I watch, but I love the way she turned out. I decided to give her the traits of dance machine because I heard the disco naps come in clutch for this challenge, romantic, and creative. Her aspiration is big happy family. Now let's look at the outfits I gave her. Since this is the 100 baby challenge, I figured more comfortable clothes would look good on her because she's going to be pregnant all the time. So let's look at every day. She has this and then this one. Her favorite color is yellow. This is for formal, her athletic wear, sleepwear, party wear. She has two outfits, swimwear, hot weather. She has two outfits, and winter wear. She has three. Now for where we're going to live. Another first for me is I installed the Plumbella Stage. I thought Brittleton Bay would be a cute neighborhood because it gives me family vibes since it came with cats and dogs. I'm also not the greatest builder, so I would get a house from the gallery and just decorate a little to make it my own. Now let me explain how we're going to get our income. Most of the time, most people paint, write, or garden to make their income, but that's not what we're going to do. We're actually going to be using Plopsy and the seller's table to make our income. Tony is going to have a little bakery outside of her own. And I also have the canning station from Ice Mun Mun that she will use to make jams, pickles, etc. to sell on Plopsy. I don't know what kind of income that will generate, but I wanted to try something different. Now remember, I said I wanted to play this a little differently. Here's another idea I have. Although Tony wants to populate the Sims world with as many babies as she can, 
she also wants to sleep with as many attractive men as she can find. Enter Wonderful Whims. I was thinking instead of just having her sleep with every Joe Schmo, it would be cool to use Wonderful Whims and have her only sleep with guys she finds attractive. Now, I know some of you may be yelling and saying that's a terrible idea, but I love the attraction system. I wanted to see if it would make this challenge harder or not. So again, one of the rules I've made for myself is that Tony can only sleep with guys who she finds attractive. Hopefully, she's not crazy picky and doesn't find everyone unattractive. Now, before I end the video, let's take a look at the two houses I'm looking at. I've watched enough challenge videos to know that it's best to start with a tiny home to help everyone gain skills faster and cheaper bills. And since we're not trying to cheat, we're going to go with a house that she can actually afford. First house I'm looking at is by Blinky's No Good and it's a cozy cabin starter. I'm trying to go with the whole cottage feel to try to go with the Brindleton Bay look vibe that's happening. And that's a one bedroom, one bathroom. And the second one I'm looking at is by Whiff Love Julian, and that's a cottage starter, and it's yellow, her favorite color, and it's a one bath, one bedroom, but again, we can always expand, and both of these cost less than $20,000. So it's between this one and this one, which costs a little bit more at $16,000. So leave a little comment below and let me know which house you think fits more for Tony. Whichever one I decide to choose, I'm going to change the lots to On the Ley Line, Homey, and Good Schools. I'm so excited to get into this and see what happens. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Please click the like button if you enjoyed this video and it would mean the world to me if you would click that subscribe button also. Peace and blessings. Bye.